हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑन बेसिक मैथ्स इन अवर फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ फर्स्ट लेसन दैट इज मैट्राइसिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स इन दैट वी लर्न द मीनिंग ऑफ मैट्राइसिस ऑर्डर ऑफ मैट्राइसिस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ मैट्राइसिस टुडे इन दिस सेकेंड लेक्चर वी विल सी अलजिब्र ऑफ मैट्राइसिस इन दैट स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन एडिशन ऑफ मैट्राइसिस ट्रांसफर्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स सिमेट्रिक एंड स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्राइसिस वी विल सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वन स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इफ ए इज एनी मैट्रिक्स एंड के इज एनी स्केलर देन के इन टू ए इज अ मैट्रिक्स ऑबटेंड बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ ए बाय के दैट इज इफ ए इज अ स्क्वेर मैट्रिक्स with two rows and two columns then k into a is obtained by multiplying every element of a by the term k that is equals to k into a k into b k into c k into d for example if a is given that is equals to 1 minus 2 3 and 4 then find 2 into a and minus 5 into a that is matrix a has to be multiplied once by the scalar term 2 and another time with minus 5 so we will see matrix a is multiplied by the scalar term 2 we get 2 ones are 2 2 into minus 2 minus 4 Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Similarly, matrix A is multiplied by minus five. We get minus five into one minus five minus five into minus two. That is equals to plus ten minus five into three minus fifteen minus five into four. That is equals to minus twenty. Now second one, addition of matrices. Two matrices can be added or subtracted only if their orders are same. For example, here matrix A is given and B is given with same orders. Then we can add A and B, and we also can subtract A minus B. Let's find the value of A plus B. So the corresponding elements of matrix a and matrix b have to be added for the resulting answer the corresponding element of 1 is 1 1 is 3 that is 1 plus 3 and second element the corresponding element of 2 is minus 4 the corresponding element of 4 is with minus 1 4 minus 1 Similarly, for second row to second row, that is minus one plus of one, three plus of five, minus two plus of minus two, which is equals to. Simplify this matrix. We get one plus three is equals to four. Two minus four is equals to minus two. Four minus one is equals to three. Second row, minus one plus one is equals to zero. Three plus five is equals to eight. Minus two minus two is equals to minus four. This is the answer for the addition of two matrices A plus B. Similarly, we will do for subtraction A minus B. That is equals to matrix A minus matrix B. The corresponding element have to be subtracted. One minus three. The corresponding element of one is minus three here, and the corresponding element of two is minus four. That is two minus of minus four, and the corresponding element of four is minus one. Four minus of minus one. Minus one. Second row. Minus one. Minus of One, three minus of five, 
minus 2 minus of minus 2. So this is the subtraction of matrix A and B and the simplification form is that is equals to 1 minus 3 is equals to minus 2, 2 minus of minus 4 is plus 4 that is 2 plus 4 is 6, 4 minus of minus 1 is plus 1, 4 plus 1 becomes 5, minus 1 minus 1 is equals to minus 2, 3 minus 5 is equals to minus 2, minus 2 minus of minus 2 is plus 2 that becomes minus 2 plus 2 is equals to 0. The third one transpose of a matrix. If A is any matrix then the matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of A is called the transpose of A and it is written as A dash or a raised to t. For example, if A is given with 3 rows and 2 columns, find 5 into A dash. So, here the rows are converted into columns. So, A dash is equals to minus 1 minus 1 first row becomes first column, second row becomes second column, third row becomes third column. Now multiply a dash by the scalar term that is by 5 that is equals to 5 into 1 5, 5 into 2 10, 5 into 1 5 in the first row. Similarly in the second row we get 5 into minus 1 minus 5, 5 into 0 0, 5 into minus 3 that is minus 15. Now we see the fourth part that is symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. A square matrix A is called a symmetric matrix if A dash is equals to A and it is called skew symmetric matrix if A dash is equals to minus of A. Students, here in symmetric matrix the transpose of A is not going to change with the matrix A. That means when you will interchange the matrix A, it becomes A dash. So, the elements of the matrix are not going to change. It remains same. See the example. Here in the matrix 1, 5, 5, 4, after interchanging this, we will get the same term again. The first row first column will be same. Check the matrix. Similarly, in the second example, 1, 3, 5, 3, 4, 6, 5, 6, 7, after interchanging, we are going to get the same matrix. Hence, it is a symmetric matrix. Similarly, for skew symmetric matrix, a dash after interchanging the matrix A we are going to get negation of A that is 0 3 minus 3 0 and 0 2 3 and minus 2 0 4 minus 3 minus 4 0 are skew symmetric matrices. Now we will see some more examples on these types. So first example, if A is equals to 1 minus 1, 2, 0, 1 minus 3 and B is equals to minus 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, find 2A plus 3B. Solution. Multiply matrix A by 2 and multiply matrix B by 3 and add their corresponding terms to get the sum. That is keep matrix A as it is multiply by 2. Similarly matrix B by 3 we get 2 1s are 2 in the second step. 2 1s are 2 
2 into minus 1 that is minus 2, 2 2 is a 4, 2 0 is a 0, 2 1 is a 2, 2 3 is a minus 6, there is a minus 3, so 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 plus multiply matrix B by 3 we get 3 2 is a minus 6, 3 4 is a 12, 3 3 is a 9, 3 2 is a 6, 3 1 is a 3, 3 0 is a 0. Now add the corresponding element of these two resulting matrices that is 2 plus of minus 6, minus 2 plus of 12, 4 plus 9, 0 plus 6, 2 plus 3, minus 6 plus 0. That equates to 2 minus 6 is minus 4, minus 2 plus 12 is plus 10, 4 plus 9 is 13, 0 plus 6 is 6, 2 plus 3 is 5 and minus 6 plus 0 is minus 6. So, this is the answer for 2a plus 3b. I hope students you understood this. Now, can you try it yourself? Now, we will see the third sum that is if a is given that is equals to 4 0 0 first row, 0 4 0 second row, 0 0 4 in the third row. So, find a minus a dash. Solution for this. Which type of matrix is it students? Is this a diagonal matrix? Yes. So, after interchanging a dash, we get the same matrix again. The diagonal will remain as it is. So, after subtraction, we get null matrix. 4 minus 4 is 0 in all the cases. So, it becomes 0. The answer is a null matrix. Understood? Ok, we will move towards the next example. Solve for x and y where x of 2 1 plus y of 3 5 plus 4 6 is equated to 12 17. Here all are with the column matrix. Now multiply in the first step multiply x by the column first column matrix it becomes 2 into x and x plus multiply second column matrix with y we get 3 into y 5 into y plus 4 6 which is equals to 12 17. Now according to this question see there is a plus in between all the matrices and it is equated to the third matrix. Now after this step, we have to add the corresponding element of the matrices. It becomes 2x plus 3y plus 4 equated to 12. Similarly, for second row, equate the corresponding elements x plus 5y plus 6 which is equal to 17. So, first row becomes simplify this that it becomes 2x plus 3y which is equal to transpose 4 to right side to simplify. It becomes 8. Similarly, x second equation x plus 5y transpose 6 to the right side it becomes 17 minus 6. So, that is equal to, equal to x plus 5y which is equal to 11. So, these are the two equations we will get after simplification after equating the matrix. Now, solving equations 1 and 2 multiply equation 2 by 2 and subtract second equation from first equation. We get keep the first equation as it is 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 and second equation becomes 2x plus 10y is equals to 22. We have multiplied second equation by 2 so that 2x and 2x have to be cancelled. 
we get the value of y easily. So now 2x, 2x will get cancelled and 3 plus of minus 10a becomes minus 7y which is equals to 8 minus 22 is minus 14. Then 7y is equated to minus 14. So here shift minus 7 to the right side and divide it by minus 14. So we get 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14. We get the value of y is equals to 2. Put y is equals to 2 in either second equation or first equation to find the value of x. So here I have put I put the value of y in 1 that is 2x plus 3y is equals to 8. Here 3 into y value of y is 2 that is 3 to the 6. 6 is transferred to the right side for simplification. So it becomes 2x is equals to 8 minus 6 is equals to 2. So the value of 2x is becomes 2. Then next becomes 1. The value of x here is 1. And the value of y here is 2. Similarly, I hope you will try this to yourself. Find x and y given that x plus y 3 minus 1 x minus 4 is equated to 4 3 minus 1 and 8. I hope you will try this students. We will do the next sum that is fifth one sorry sixth one find x such that 3x 4 7 is symmetric. The condition here is a symmetric matrix. So for this we know that a dash that means transpose of a is equal to a. So transpose matrix a we get 3 x first row becomes first column that is 3 x first row converted into first column second row second column that is equated to the matrix A. Now by equating the corresponding terms we get the value of x is equals to 4. Now the next important concept that is matrix multiplication. If A is a matrix of order M into P and B is a matrix of order P into N then the product AB is defined and its order is M into N. The product AB exists only when the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B. I am repeating students here that the product AB exists only when the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B. Considering A matrix A is equals to it has 2 rows and 3 columns. Similarly for matrix B it has 3 rows and 2 columns. So the product becomes see here students first row should be equal to first row of matrix A is equal to first column of matrix B. Here first row has three elements and second matrix first column is contains three elements that is A11, A12, A13 three elements of matrix A should be equal to three elements of matrix B first column it should be equal to each other the different elements have to be multiplied so that is equals to so multiply first row with first column to get first element and first row with second column you will get second element similarly go to second row 
into first column third element so last one second row into second column that is your last element so that is equals to see here a11 into b11 plus a12 into b21 third element a13 a31 different elements of row has to be multiplied with different elements of column of matrix b similarly second element that is first row with second column is equals to a11 b12 a12 b22 plus a13 into b32 we will get two elements when you will multiply first row with the remaining two columns similarly second row with first column becomes a21 that is into b11 plus a22 into b21 plus a23 into b31 it is your third element second row with first column similarly second row with second column becomes a21 into b12 a22 into b22 plus a23 into b32 you practice by writing it 2 3 times we will see with the examples first example if a is equals to 4 minus 3 a column matrix which has an order 2 rows and 1 column and matrix b is given that is equals to 3 1 5 it is a row matrix with one row and three columns find the product a b solution a b is equals to right matrix a into matrix b here multiply first row with first column that is your first element first row with second column second element first row with third column it becomes third element in the first row only respectively similarly for second row with first column second row into second term second column second row with third column respectively it becomes 4 into 3 12 4 into 1 4 4 into 5 20 is a your first row answer for second row minus 3 into 3 9 minus 9 minus 3 into 1 minus 3 minus 3 into 5 minus 15 this is a required answer of product a and b now we will see example 2 if a is equals to 3 minus 2 5 here it is a row matrix of order 1 row into 3 columns find a into a dash and a dash into a solution find the transpose of a first so row here row becomes column then multiply that is equals to a into a dash is equals to write down matrix a as it is that is 3 minus 2 5 and transpose of a row matrix becomes column matrix 3 minus 2 5 so first row with first column here it has only one row and one column so we will get only one element at the end that is 3 into 3 that is 9 plus minus 2 into minus of 2 it becomes plus 4 5 into 5 25 so add them all you will get 38 is your a into a dash answer now second part of the same question 
a dash into a transpose of a dash a is 3 minus 2 phi in the column matrix and write a as it is which is equals to here order will be different first row first column is your first element that is 3 into 3 9 first row second column is your second element of the first row that is 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 and third element is 3 into 5 that is 15. Similarly for second row with the first column, second column, third column respectively you get minus 2 into 3 minus 6 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 into 5 minus 10. Similarly, third row with first column, second column, third column respectively. 5 3 is a 15. 5 into minus 2 is minus 10. 5 into 5 is 25. Understood students? Now the last example of this lecture 2. Example number 3. If A is equals to 3, 2, 4, 1 of order 2 rows and 2 columns prove that a square minus 4a minus 5i is equals to 0 where i is unit matrix and 0 is the null matrix of order 2 rows and 2, two columns. Solution. First students find a square multiply a 2 times write them a into A, matrix A into matrix A. It becomes first row, first column is your first element. First row with second column is your second element. Second row, first column is your third element. Second row, second column is your fourth element. That is 3 into 3 is 9, 2 into 4 is 8, 3 into 2 is 6, 2 into 1 is 1. First row with first column, first row with the second column are your first two elements of the resulting matrix. Similarly, second row with the first column is 4 into 3 is 12 plus 1 into 4 is 4. The last element becomes 4 into 2 is 8 plus 1 into 1 is 1. And that is equals to add the terms. You get 17, 8, 16 and 9. Now take LHS that is a square minus 4a minus 5i is equals to the answer of a square is given write them minus 4 into matrix a minus 5 into the unit matrix of order 2 rows 2 columns is 1001 so that is equals to write a square as it is minus Multiply matrix A by 4, you get 4 into 3 is 12, 4 into 2 is 8, 4 into 4 is 16, 4 into 1 is 4. Similarly, last one, 5 into unit matrix multiplied by 5. That is 5 into 1 is 5, 5 into 0 is 0, 5 into 0 is 0, 5 into 1 is 5. Now, simplify in the third step. That is, corresponding element have to be simplified. There is a minus in between the matrix. That becomes 17 minus 12 minus 5. 8 minus 8 minus 0. 16 minus 16 minus 0. 9 minus 4 minus 5 corresponding element have to be simplified. We get 0, 0, 0 and 0. All the element of the simplification we get 
it as a zero matrix that is a required rhs so today in this session we have learnt about the algebra of matrix and multiplication of matrices students you just practice do the sums if you have any difficulty you can message me thank you